Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Taurus. How are you guys? I hope you're well. Taurus, see what's happening with Taurus singles. I'm going to use an oracle deck to lay the foundation, the overall energy of the reading, clarify with the tarot and some charms. Taurus singles, what is it you need to know? The energy surrounding you. I see some kind of change, transformation, a new cycle beginning. Beautiful. Ooh. Now this is the status quo. This has to do with having faith. This could be uh, something to do with a commitment. It's an energy of two people being on the same page. It's very uh, similar energy to uh, the Hierophant. See, the status quo. Someone's habits or lifestyle. There's some kind of change and transformation. Someone being conscious, a little messages that they're getting, little downloads, see, being conscious. Uh, there's a need for some kind of change here. Yeah, so it has to do with someone taking steps. Their intention is to take the necessary steps, going towards the Golden Palace. We have a person who's thinking of commitment here, some sort of commitment, but it's about having faith. Yeah, this is a person here. There's the honoring path, doing the right thing, being honorable, you know, taking the right steps. Ooh, <laughs> beautiful this is often you know it's an energy of this person's intentions somebody's intentions are to take the necessary steps to have faith making sure two people are on the same page now there may need to be an energy of some kind of change of habit lifestyle okay something possibly doing something different here yeah necessary changes and this has to do with family children or someone's reminiscing longing for love here yeah, it's an energy of being grateful to the messages you're about to receive, okay? It has to do with someone's intentions, and it could be your intention, so take it how it resonates for you. Reminiscing, family, friends, okay? Somebody, maybe a new crush, you know, someone's intentions is to do the right thing, the honoring path, being honorable, okay? So it's an energy of a person who's wanting something to be successful here. Yeah be you know like i say reminiscing where there's a situation that wasn't which means there's a need for some kind of transformation to do with lifestyle habits the way someone conducts themselves okay it has to do with faith yeah we have the start of something yeah you've got something starting here it's an opportunity communication coming in but this is about planting the seed building a foundation it's about having faith it's about committing some sort of commitment here wow Ooh. There you are, Taurus. Oh, beautiful energy. It's an energy of being open. The Empress is always open to new opportunities in love, okay? So I do see a beautiful energy of being balanced, doing the right thing. So this is an energy where someone, it's about being on the same page, change of habits, lifestyles, being open to this. Ooh, something new cooking. Yeah, there's an opportunity, some sort of opportunity. Uh, an invitation possibly we have a per and it could be someone trying to get your attention it could be um there's children involved or children around you <laughs> it's possible you have someone who wants to start something okay they're offering it's an invitation a communication it's definitely emotional let's have a look at this taking steps why is this here yeah you got someone who's very curious it looks like a crush or someone who's curious could be someone who's just not saying too much right now. See, keeping some things to themselves, but it's an energy of a person who wants to know. They're looking for some kind of clarity. See, they want to know something before they take any steps, before they say anything. Could be something to do with children, family wanting to know. Someone, if you are a single parent, but you know, often when I see this, it's an energy of the birth of something new. You see, someone who's thinking about family, children. Yeah, we got two people talking, communicating, being on the same page or some kind of connection being made, seeing eye to eye. So it's energy of truth, success, somebody here wanting to know the truth. Okay, but like I say, it's more like someone crushing. They want to know something. So what does this person want to know with the page of swords? Could be someone who's kept something to themselves too. Okay, not really said anything yet. It has to do with their intention is to not say too much too quick. It could be someone looking to see who you're giving attention to. 
Uh, it could be, a, like I say, a person who's reminiscing here. <laughs> yeah, this is someone who sees all the possibilities. This is someone who sees opportunity. It's often a person who's been procrastinating, waiting for the right opportunity. It could be if you are with children or someplace where you are, if there's children around, they're waiting for the right opportunity, I feel. They want this to be successful. But their intentions are, this is an energy of intention here. See, they're seeing opportunity. They're making a choice. Some of you may have opportunities. Like I say, you may have other options. This person's curious. They want to know. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Five of swords. They're a little frustrated. Not so sure they trust something here. So I do see communication, mixed messages. You see, but this is a person who's a little frustrated. I feel as if you have people around you giving you attention. <laughs> okay, this person, I feel like I say, they're a little frustrated. They want to know something here. If you're seeing someone else who is giving you attention, okay. Some of you are just focused on your family, your children here too, which is interesting, but there it is. Someone trusting their intuition, their inner knowing, a little Pisces energy. This is someone going within into me, I see. They're frustrated. They're not so sure they trust, you see. A little bit of trust issues. But it's often an energy of just um, somebody who's a little confused here. They're kind of in their head looking for clarity. They're not trusting something. What is it they're not trusting? Yeah, they feel like there's no hope, you see. Feeling like there's no hope. Or maybe there's a little bit of regret here. But, I, you know, it could be mixed messages or mixed signals, too. Or mixed feelings. Yeah, it could be, a, like I say, we've got the Empress. The Empress often has other options, other possibilities. See, they're looking at those possibilities, how this will play out. They kind of feel there's no hope, you see. It's a cup half full. They're a little frustrated. They're not trusting and whatever it is they're finding out, what they're hearing, because it's about hearing, it's about listening, communicating. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. It's all fives. These are all temporary energies. There we go. So someone kind of, there it is, tempering their thoughts, tempering their emotions, their passions, pulling back, looking at things different. See, you may be different than their usual type. So it's about trying something different, but it's an energy of feeling something is off. You see? Yeah, someone is not so sure here. And it could even be yourself with this person. But I feel we have an empress who has other, possibly has other options or they think you do because they're not trusting something. So they're just kind of being patient, you see. They're just being still. They're just being trying to be calm, you see. Yeah. A little sad energy, pulling back. Something doesn't feel right here. <laughs> Yeah, see, taking lessons learned from the past, feeling off, like moving away to avoid a disaster. But this is a person who's, it's an energy of movement. Could be, like I say, if you are connecting with someone, it could have to do with talking, communicating, being on the same page. This is someone looking at opportunities. It has to do with moving, possibly moving in, relocating. You see, someone's waiting patiently here, just being patient. I feel there's someone here who's trying to be patient, but they're frustrated. They may feel like you're looking for someone else or you're um, open to other offers or there's other people around you. Now, the high priestess is, you know, someone trusting their inner knowing. They're keeping a secret. Now, someone could be keeping secrets, okay, or they want to know because it's an energy of the empress being mysterious, see, Energy of being mysterious, yeah, it has to do with someone looking for truth. See, now, now we have three, three aces here. So I feel it's a person who's looking to see if you have other options before they communicate. They're frustrated. They're trying to be patient. They want truth. They want success and victory. They want this opportunity. <laughs> They're having a little aha moment. So it, it, this is someone who will tell you truth, okay? It has to do with truth. It has to do with this person, win or lose, coming in. But at, they're pointing right at that Ace of Cups, this opportunity. They're feeling guided. But it's someone here who's trusting their intuition. See, if you feel something is off with this person, you, maybe you feel they have other options here or there's something going on because it's an energy of procrastinating. But I feel this person's looking at all these possibilities. Tell me about this. Oops, there we go, yeah. We have a person contemplating. See, into me I see, going within their life path. 
You see, they're looking for answers. They're looking for something. They want to know something, okay? They want to know why. They want truth. They're looking, they're searching for truth. <laughs> but it's an energy where they feel like there's no hope. So there's mixed messages, miscommunication. Tell me about that Six of Swords and we'll pull out some charms. What is the Six of Swords? Yeah, see, it's an energy of this person wanting things to go in their favor. Moving forward calmly and peacefully. This is an energy of being mysterious. Somebody wants to get to know someone more. Okay, they want to know more. So I feel this is someone who's determined that things go in their favor, but they're so frustrated. They have a little bit of trust issues to do with something they're hearing or uh, to do with communication. But look at that. There's a connection, a bond between two people. This person is looking to see if you're connected. I feel that someone is looking to see if you're single. They want to know truth before they come in and they're just frustrated. You see, but I see this whole new cycle, a windfall of abundance. It has to do with now. So they're impatient. They want to know now. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Why is this here? Taurus. Oops. Ace of Swords. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So someone is a little apprehensive that things won't go in their favor. They're looking at all the possibilities, how this could play out. They're planning and preparing. Now, it's often a person who doesn't communicate clearly because we know the Page of Pentacles is someone they want it to be successful. You see, they want it. They want this to work. But I feel they're they're a little apprehensive and it has to do with how they're going to communicate. They're gonna I feel it's an energy of being tempted to reach out. See, they're feeling tempted. I feel they're gonna try to tempt you as well. So or you're feeling tempted by this person. But I love that the Empress is here because why? The Empress is open. Keeping your options open till someone commits. That's what the Empress does. If there's no commitment, you're keeping your options open. Yeah, see, we have the Queen of Cups. See, you're waiting for someone to give you something. You want this cup. Offer me this cup. Tell me what you want. You see? But they're keeping something to themselves. And it, it, it could be uh, maybe they have another choice. But I see truth, that little aha moment. Someone's seeing the truth that has to do with love, emotions, the way someone connects emotionally. And we know the Queen of Cups, somebody who wants you know, reciprocity is someone who's kind and generous, often sacrifices and gives. You see, this is what they're looking at. They're seeing a truth to do with the feelings, emotions. They need to offer you this cup. They need to hurry up. <laughs> you see, before you start something new, that's what I feel. Because I feel like you've got this windfall of abundance, things going in your favor, choices and options. I feel like you're very much open to love. Yeah, if you have cancer in your chart, you're staying in control of your emotions. You're not ruled by them. So I like that energy. This is how things go. In. And it could be you're just being a little mysterious, keeping some of your feelings to yourself, making this person even more curious. That's a feminine energy. This is what this is what the Empress does, is, is a little mis being a little mysterious, making this person want to discover more, wanting to get to know you more. You see, they're trying to control their... See, you're, it's an energy of your power. See, this is you. You have the power here, okay? This is the Empress has all the power. Why? Because you're making this person curious. They want to know. They're so frustrated. <laughs> They're also looking at the signs, the signals, you see? Like I say, there could be some kind of mixed messages, mixed signals. I, I feel this is someone who wants to know who you're giving attention to, but they're try I feel they're, it's like they're frustrated. They're trying to get your attention. That's what I feel here. There it is. There's this little pause. See, taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective. See, there's the light. Aha. They want things to go in their favor. This person knows. If you are being mysterious, okay, keeping your options open, this person, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is. It's an energy of power and control. They're pull, it's an energy being pulled in two different directions. But I feel like you're in control of your emotions. Don't lose control of your emotions. Okay? I think they're, this person, they want, they're determined that this is successful. So now it could be this person just wanting to approach you. Okay? But I feel they're very curious. I feel they want to know more. Uh, the mystery of the Empress. That's what I feel is happening here. Being mysterious, making them want to know you more. Yeah, see, here they come. They're moving, taking action. Slow and steady wins the race. This is someone who takes their time. And it could also be yourself just looking at this energy, taking your time, looking at the details. 
Okay. That I feel like it's this person. I feel they have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart. I see Pisces. Okay, Cancer. Yeah, see, someone's intentions. They want things to go in their favor. Now, if some of you have had a situation with someone who's on and off, if you've had an on and off situation, you're taking back your power, you see, by no longer sacrificing or giving because they're not communicating clearly. It's often a person who's apprehensive. They don't communicate, but look at the action they're taking. They're leveling up here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're manifesting. They're manifesting money, too. It has to do with being stable. This is someone who has everything they need, but they're manifesting this. It's also a person, it's a play on words where they kind of manipulate. They're kind of hoping that you will be the one to offer them something. See a little bit of, it's mischievous. It's not a manipulation that's out to harm. I'm seeing someone, if they communicate in a way where they're up to something, but what they do is they want to know who you're giving attention to if you're not giving it to them, you see, or if you have other options. Because they're manifesting. I mean, they have all the tools, the information. They're gathering info. Possibly someone checking you out. A very curious person. But man, that frustration. They just, at one minute, they feel like there's no hope. <laughs> they, you know, they're calming themselves down. See, grounding, being calm. Looking back, doing something different. Trying something different here. I, I feel, like I say, I see a change of lifestyle habit. Okay, there's something that is, is different about you or you're just different than their usual type. It's like they're trying to figure you out. Yeah, you know, like this. let's grab some charms. Let's start with the Ace of Pentacles. This feels really interesting. Now, there we have something to do with music or a note. Now, this could be anything. And with the Six of cups energy the family children sentimental longing for love energy now this could be where you gave someone something because we know the uh, the queen of cups often it can be quite generous their feelings emotions always doing nice things showing someone that you like them see maybe you gave this person a little gift maybe it was music or there's something connecting you i also see the energy of that transformation was there and the letter c the letter d and then I see, there it is, the good omen, the, the dragonfly. There's some kind of good omen, some kind of good luck. It's like someone can't believe their good luck here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, let's have a look at the Empress energy. There we have it, the letter H. There we have, ooh, we have a ring. So it has to do with faith, commitment, having faith. See, it has to do with committing. The empress keeps her options open till someone commits. You see, that's what I feel is happening. You're just keeping them open. Okay, that's your guidance until somebody's ready to commit. They offer you all those aces. You see, they offer you something solid. They build the foundation where they're reliable, dependable. Now, I also see the possibility, like I say, there's some kind of gift or note or something to do with music. Uh, the letter S, more on the empress. Yeah, see, there's that pause. See, it's also like temperance, the hangman taking a pause, looking at things different, seeing things from a, another person's perspective, putting their best foot forward. You got a person who, like I say, they're just, I, I feel they're looking to see who's giving you attention or they're trying to get your attention. You see? I feel like you're just going to be mysterious, being very mysterious, because they you've got their curiosity. Whatever it is you're doing, you've got their curiosity. The letter H again, the letter K, and two Ks and two Hs, whatever that means to you. Initials, it could be a place. Let's have a look at the Ace of Cups. There, the letter Q. So that tells me something to do with timing right on time. See, it has to do with the timing. And then we have someone being wise, a little Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, being wise has to do with the timing, okay? But it could be an initial. You know, there's that Hierophant energy, some Taurus energy, being an open book. See, being open. Let it, it's this person's waiting for a sign. They're waiting for something. They want to know if you're open, you see, if you're available, if you're single. So you've got their curiosity. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. The letter O. Now there, there it is. There's that shoe. Someone's stepping into it, taking the necessary steps, the next step. See, putting their best foot forward, coming in right, building the foundation. 
There's the abundance. See, this is someone who moves kind of slow. It could be yourself, Taurus, okay? But it could be them. See, there's the abundance coming in. You have a lot of abundance, okay? You have a lot to offer here. They see it. They see you as someone who has everything they could ever want, everything they need. But they are someone who's longing for love. And it could be someone who's ready to have family, children, but they're curious. There's still things they want to know. Let's have a look at the hanged man. There it is, see? The Hierophant, Taurus. See, everything they want to know. Checking you out, how you conduct yourself, the way you behave, who's giving you attention. See, this is someone planning and preparing. They want it to be successful. So if this is someone who came in and didn't put their best foot forward, they're kind of taking a pause and looking at this, looking at things from your perspective, seeing how you feel. And, and it, I actually feel this could even be yourself here with this uh, looking at how they feel. Okay, so that's where I feel. <laughs> I, 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 you've got their curiosity. There's absolutely no doubt, but they kind of feel there's no hope. You see, now I don't know what this lifestyle habits, the way you conduct yourself, your day to day lives being on the same page. It's an energy of someone having faith. See, some sort of an agreement that has to go in both people's favor. So, yeah, Wh whoever it is, they're seeing you in a favorable light. They like what they see. Okay, the way you conduct yourself, your lifestyle, your habits, routines. I feel like you're very balanced. Okay, so they know something. They just don't know everything. Yeah, tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to reach out. They're hoping it's successful. You see, they're hoping that you kind of carry this on, that you kind of take control of this conversation, this communication. Once this person feels, you know, we also know it's in there. The Empress can make people feel very comfortable, very gracious, kind. You've mastered all the elements of all the queens. See, this person's doing the same thing. They're mastering the elements. There's the letter B on that page. There it is, the cycle. See, this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. They're determined. I feel a lot of this is yourself, you know, changing the way you conduct yourself, changing your schedule, your routine, the way you do things. You know, see, I, I feel like you're just being mysterious and they want to know. I feel that's one of your biggest messages. Let them want to discover you. Don't give too much, okay, of yourself. Because a lot of times this is what um, people do with this Queen of Cups energy is sacrifice and give, keep giving to someone see but this person sees the way you conduct yourself no i don't know if this is something to do with children or they see you with children but they're seeing loving kind nurturing they they want this to go in their favor but if you want things to go in your favor this is where i feel it's telling you don't give too much don't sacrifice too much let them be curious let them want to come towards you see you have the power see they're a little apprehensive but they're manifesting they have pretty much everything they need you see, they're looking at the details. This is someone who's definitely been focused on their money, manifesting money. You see? So if there could be some kind of contract negotiation, something to do with travel, a situation revolving around travel, uh, morals, values, the things that connect you. Tell me about the Hierophant. It's yourself, strong. Your energy is very powerful. You have the power here, okay? That's why I say it. it's being a little mysterious, making them want to discover more about you. They want things. See, it's where they become determined. <laughs> yeah, this could be someone who's at a distance too. Like I say, there could be an invitation. You know, they're coming in here. You know, they want to get to know you more. It's an energy where two people grow closer, getting to know each other, you know, or ending a cycle and moving away to avoid a disaster. They're kind of back and forth, I feel, you know, with that hanged man back and forth you see the letter b t g and a initials then i see a heart see the way someone conducts themselves it has to do with being on the same page it has to do with love the letter g the letter w let's have a look at the chariot that's what i wanted to do a moment ago the chariot why is it here the letter s the letter M, yeah, there's the offer, the opportunity. It's coming from love, coming from a place of love. There we have the heart and this offer, the cup. See, this person's coming in to take control, okay? You have the power. 
that this person's determined to have success. They're manifesting. They're gathering info. It's like, the, it's just an energy of someone who's so frustrated. They want this to go in their favor. There's the letter R. And there's the, the energy of manifesting something, a, a long-term situation, the infinity symbol. You see? They have everything they need. This person's going to come in once they have everything they need. But they're looking at this empress energy as you're everything they could ever want and need. Lifestyle, habits, the way you conduct yourself. You see? Your routine. So there could be some place where you go that's part of a day-to-day -day life routine or schedule. Okay? Well, there may be some changes there, too. Like I say, if you connect with this person, there could be relocation or needing to reschedule, okay? Or just change of habits, lifestyle. Wow. This person's manifesting. Yeah, see, there's things that are still a bit confusing. It's also an energy of someone who hasn't either hasn't revealed themselves or they're keeping a lot of their feelings to themselves. But I feel it's you being mysterious. Okay, you're a mystery to this person. I feel they're trying to figure you out. <laughs> if it is someone who you're no longer giving attention to, they're looking to see who you are. But boy, are they determined. There it is, taking something to the next level. This is a life path. This person's soul searching their life path. You see, they're very curious. So it has to do with them approaching you. They'll approach you when the time is right, when they're ready. This is often a person, like I say, they'll do it when they're ready. Now, the, the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles will do things when they're ready. Slow and steady wins the race. So it's an energy, of, I feel, the Empress needing to be patient. There we have an Emperor. This is someone who's been focusing on their money, wanting to be financially stable. It has to do with pride, ego, being a good provider. But it's also what you can provide for each other. That's what you're, they're looking at, what you can give to each other. Okay? So, ooh, you've got an emperor here. Now, this is someone who's definitely leveled right up here. See? And it could be to do with their finances, but it has to do with long-term and their confidence. This is someone very confident now. See? To do with long-term planning. This person's going to approach you, okay? If you don't know who it is, they will be the one to approach. But if it is someone you already know and you did something nice, gave them something, you sacrificed, okay? And they didn't sacrifice or tell you what you needed to hear, whatever the situation. They're looking at this, the realization. This could have gone in their favor. So it's them, I feel, too, possibly changing uh, the way they communicate or changing lifestyle habits, the way they conduct themselves. There's going to be a need for transformation here, okay? So because we have that hierophant energy twice, the status quo, following society's rules. This person is definitely someone who's unique or they see you as someone unique, maybe even a little eccentric. It could go both ways, but it's po all this stuff's popping into my head now. Lots of downloads, messages, but do look for the signs and signals. Okay, pay attention to the signs. It's like, you know, they're waiting for a sign from you <laughs> or you are waiting for them. But I, you know, like I say, I almost feel like you've already given them something. You've already shown them. You've given them a gift or done something sweet. See, now they have to come in. If they want things to go in their favor, they need to know what they want. They need to come in right, okay? They need to be confident with the decision they're about to make. It has to do with reciprocity, see? The sacred temple, cooperating, compromising, going down this path. You, you've got this person's interest so strong, but that frustration of, it's like they, it's like maybe you, you're giving, maybe you're giving this person little hints, dropping little hints, okay? And if they're frustrated, they're not sure. It's mixed message if they're, you know, if they're getting it here. If you're on the same page. Oh, Taurus, are you being mysterious? This certainly looks like it. Oh, yeah, because that frustration, the mixed messages, the signals, the communication, they're frustrated. They want to know. So put this person under their misery and give them a little signal. Okay? Let them know that you're open. That's what I feel because it's like there's been this dropping hints. Okay? Tempting someone, you know, tempting them, being mysterious. 
Oh my goodness. I wish you guys the best here, but this is the sacred temple. It has to do with two people who have something in common. You kind of mirror each other a little, so I feel like you're probably just right for each other in a lot of ways. But like I say, they don't know everything they need to know yet. So you see, it has to do with them needing to be confident that whatever it is that you're you're doing is because you like them or you want them to approach. So, okay, or take this to the next level. It's an energy of two people building each other up. So there's something building. It's like the momentum between two people. There's a milestone. This person's ready to achieve. They're determined that this is successful. So it's an energy of feeling very op 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 feeling optimistic. But it's also yourself letting them know that you're open. See, they're waiting for a sign and a signal. I don't know. There's mixed messages, whether it's you or them. Okay? So they're not getting it. Like I say, if you're dropping hints, they're not quite getting it. Okay? Or they're dropping hints to you and you're not getting it because you want the clarity. So it's an energy of being open. I see high vibrational, positive energy, uh, a milestone. There's some sort of an event. And I do see movement here, some kind of movement. And making a move and offering you this cup. And it's coming from a place of love with a heart. See, they're determined. They want this to be positive. So there it is. Whatever you're waiting for, see, waiting. You know, they also, this is also someone who knows the Empress only waits for so long because they see you as the Empress. They see other people will see you the same. So this is an energy of waiting for the right opportunity as well. But you could be looking elsewhere, see, keeping your options open, waiting for something new. But I feel that whatever it is you're waiting for is coming, okay? I feel like you're going to get this opportunity Okay, it's all about the timing, and, and I feel like the timing is like now. This is going to happen, I feel, for some of you very soon. Of course, not everybody. It all depends on your path, who, if you know who this is or where you're at with that two of wands, the path that you're on. This is someone who's been on their own path. They've been focusing on money. Okay, They've been uh, chasing financial success. Okay, This is likely someone who's dated lots of people. Things haven't gone in their favor. Now they're about to make a choice. It's, it has to do with children, reminiscing, someone longing for love, giving gifts, keeping things sim simple. But they're also somebody who I feel is very sentimental. They kind of hide that part of themselves or they feel that you are, okay? Because that Queen of Cups is there. So, so I feel most of you know who this is. You know, yeah, they're determined. They're thinking things through, choosing their battles. This is someone who's chose to focus on their money, their finances, but they're in a hurry. This person's coming in quick. See, it's an energy of either the one that got away and they're coming back around or they don't want you to get away. To me, I see uh, the vibe I get is they do not want you to get away and there's some sort of transformation about to happen. Okay, this person wants to offer this. The bat this butterfly backs up the change, the transformation. I feel it's how you're conducting yourself. You're just being mysterious. You're not chasing. You're not going after them. So they're becoming frustrated and they're now in a hurry. So wherever you're doing, I feel like it's working. So I wish you the best here, okay? I feel it's just telling you to stay in that energy, keep your options open. It's, I mean, they could change their mind. It's hard to say. Um, but I, because I feel one minute this person kind of feels, you know, there's no hope. The next minute they're really enthusiastic. So if you're dropping hints, they, I feel they just need a little more clarity. Okay, take care. See you soon.